once held as a mark of support for a football club, now laid in support of a grieving family. Behind me, a tribute to the tragic loss of three lives. Those close to the family have been here today to lay flowers, Warsaw scarves and shirts to remember the lives of Joel Richards, Adrian Evans and Patrick Evans. And Joel's old school friends were there to remember a true friend. Well, he's, he was one in a million, Joel was. He, he was 100% genuine. He was, he was the one person you know you could go to if, if you ever had any problems, major, minor, whatever, he was always there. And he always put a smile on anyone's face. It's devastating. It's brought us all closer together. I mean, there's, there's people here I haven't saw since we've left school. But it, it, it's, it's brought us all closer together. And, you know, we've got a few things planned in the future to sort of get together and remember Joel and his family. Friends of Joel tell me of how they first heard the news. I heard the news and I, I just couldn't believe it. And I phoned my mum and dad then and I couldn't really get what I wanted to say because of being so upset but that's so you know and obviously when when you hear it through social media and Facebook and things you just hope that it's not true that it's just another rumor that's going around and when I came back that night you had the news on and it was true and we was all sitting there on the sofa just Crying. devastated <laughs> in tears we couldn't get over it really We've lay um, one of our old football pendants. We had a pendant um, done from our um, ladies football team. And um, we actually lay, the, the, when he first started, we were known as Wensby Ladies. Um, we were known as Wensby Wildcats, sorry. And then we, as we got older, we turned to Wensby Ladies. Well, Joel used to ref us as both. Joel's brother Owen was also on the beach when the shooting took place. Head teacher at Owen's school, Jeremy Harris, tells me of how his heroic acts on the day are a reflection of his character. Oh, very much so. And, uh, you know, he, he was, he was uh, like Joel, he, he would help people. He'd put himself uh, in, out there to, to do the best he could to, to make sure that, you know, people were safe, no doubt. And, um, you know, it, it, that's a tribute to him indeed. And, and particularly in the circumstances he found himself with his family, um, around him and, and, and being shot and killed and you know to be able to focus on on helping others is, is a great tribute to him. The four family members were avid Warsaw football fans. They travelled to Wembley to watch their club face Bristol City in the Johnson's Paint Trophy final. The club wished to play their part in remembering them. There were three wonderful individuals, three wonderful supporters of the football club and obviously we're a small family orientated community orientated football club so the news has hit us pretty hard and we also wanted to give the people of Warsaw a focal point here on uh, UK soil where they could pay tribute to their friends and, and family members so we made a decision as a football club to open our doors almost and, and allow a tribute to take place at the stadium and the values that we hold are that we are a family football club deep within the heart of the community that, that hasn't changed in 127 years that doesn't change on days that are wonderful when we all depart to Wembley or we all celebrate a promotion. And that doesn't change in days and times of tragedy like the one that we're experiencing today. A fitting tribute to remember the lives of three men. Gone, but not forgotten. Lois Snowton for the Midland in Warsaw.